taking on Emmanuel Lucero, originally from Mexico City. He's lived in the Bronx since 1990. They're both only 24. Pacquiao's already been a pro for eight years. Tonight, Pacquiao has put on 15 pounds in the 27 hours since the weigh-in, and Lucero has put on more than 12. Lucero is a body punisher. Here's a closer look with Larry Merchant. As a boy in, in the Mexico City, he says his mother was an original street fighter, a volatile temper, disagree with her, and she'd settle it with her fists. He, too, became a street fighter, but he did it for money. At the age of 10 and 11, he was getting paid $10 for street fights by a local promoter. And should he ever win the title, he would become a true cheese champion or give it at least a new meaning because he works in an Italian deli in the Bronx where he makes mozzarella. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, trimmed with black. He officially weighs 120 pounds. His professional record, 36 victories, including 27 knockouts with only two defeats and one draw. From General Santos City, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, the defending IBF Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Manny Pacquiao. Do you have any questions? That's your gloves and come back with the belt. Good luck. Yeah, Larry, I think uh, Manny Pacquiao is one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound. What I saw, we can do a little bit of everything. Lucero gets low and tries to get to the body. Swings wide, but with force. Pacquiao is a devastating over-the-top puncher who's best when he remembers to throw his jab, but often forgets and just engages toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Part of Pacquiao's job here, Emmanuel, is to remember to box, but he's basically been separated from trainer Freddie Roach for 13 months. How can Roach get him to do what he needs him to do with virtually no contact with the fighter? Well, the fact that he's worked with him before will help somewhat, but in addition to not being working with Freddie, which he should have, he's been getting in a lot of trouble and not training properly, according to the reports we've been getting from the Philippines. Which he denies, uh, we should uh, point out. There was a report of one barroom brawl, and, and Pacquiao said, oh, no, no, just a couple of beer bottles that broke, <laughs> apparently without help. Well, if you read between the reports, which I'm quite sure we did, I believe there's some truth to some of that. Lucero, Lucero gets off a moment with Pacquiao pinned in the corner, and the crowd responds. Lucero, originally from Mexico City, will have the support of this largely Mexican-American audience in the Olympic. Very unusual to have a Mexican that comes from New York. But nevertheless, he is a Mexican, and the Mexican crowd has responded tremendously to him, even though Pacquiao trains here in Los Angeles. then he can't operate too effectively himself from that position without telegraphing. Now Pacquiao manages to land the straight left hand. Hasn't made his jab effective so far. It's going to be difficult to do that if Lucero continues to fight in this exaggerated crouch. Yeah, it's almost like a crowd where he's dropping at extremely low. And actually, according to the rules, you're not supposed to go below your opponent's waistline, which he's did on a few occasions. Now Pacquiao straightens him up with a left hand. Pacquiao pins him against the ropes. Lucero trying to duck everything. He's ducking, but he can't operate too effective himself from down there. No, there's, it's impossible to mount a counter offense when, when that's your defensive strategy is to, to get that low. to do most of the damage here in an odd and awkward first round. And yeah, he's trying to tap him with Bob and Weaver and trying to shoot his left uppercut now as he sees him going down. Lucero increasingly defensive, hasn't thrown that many punches in the second half of the round. As we go to the corners. Champ, hey, champ, that wasn't our plan. Our plan is to get and here low. Lucero's corner where yeah, Fermin Sencion will speak Spanish. Okay. Our interpreter's Ray Torres. You've got to move your head. Lucero may have fought in that style in the first round, simply uh, dealing with a case of nerves. He's never been in a fight against a major fighter. 
Copy box numbers in round one. Pacquiao landing 16 out of 64, including seven of 29 jabs. Lucero was only five of 41. If Manny can keep finding a way to throw nearly 30 jabs in the round, I'm not sure how Lucero is going to get at him effectively, Emmanuel. No, Lucero can't do too much effectively, and especially when it comes to throwing combinations. When you crouch that low, you can basically spring with one punch, and after that, you've lost your balance usually. Lucero was supremely confident in his discussions with us yesterday. So again, he's a two-time world champion, and he's had a lot of experience. And he's gradually following the instructions of his tournament, Freddie Roach, which is basically to jab, take your time, relax, and trigger his man out. Pacquiao taking advantage of a slow break at the end of that clinch to hit Lucero with a left hand over the top. Seems to have momentarily stunned Lucero. Now Pacquiao tries to continue the attack. As the fight goes on, the serve out. Absolutely. Here's a three-punch combination by Lucero, one of the first multiple-punch combinations. Lucero's hands look slow in this round. Body shot by Pacquiao and a big left hand. Again with the body. Lucero just taking the punishment and trying to duck away. And it's very physically tiresome when you're bobbing and weaving that long. It tires you out a lot more. Lucero won a lot of amateur fights with this style. Golden yeah. Gloves Championships, New York State Amateur Championships. He must have just overwhelmed people. Block his punches. You just let him miss completely. Pacquiao lands the straight left hand again. Fight has been one-sided in terms of meaningful contact as Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, argues that his 122-pound fighter struggling to make weight would be a threat to knock out 126-pound kingpins Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera. Your take? I think he would definitely be for both of those guys. Yeah, increasingly fluent in English, able to understand him, so we're not hearing from interpreter Ernie Kalua for the moment. Copy box numbers in two. Pacquiao, great round. 31 out of 66. Lucero, virtually non-existent. Four out of 42. Pacquiao landing nearly 60% of his power shots through the first two rounds. And there's more accurate punching from Manny Pacquiao against a pretty tough target to find. Finally, Lucero gets in a counter left. Even if Lucero lands a punch, it may look impressive the way he swings. I don't think it's going to hurt Pacquiao because you can see it coming. Punches that you see coming don't hurt you. The punches that you don't see that hurt you. Now, you can tell when Pacquiao's supremely confident. He fights with a little smile on his face, and he's been grinning through most of the first two rounds here. Feeling as though he's in control yeah. against yeah. Emmanuel Lucero. And after that punch, good punch good he punch. is totally in control, and the referee instantly stops the fight. He was out on his feet with a punch that landed right on the point of the jaw. Jose Cobian taking no chances whatsoever. No count. Immediate knockout on a punch that didn't even send Lucero to the canvas, but you saw the, the leaving response. His legs, yeah. I, I would have probably liked to have saw it went longer than that, but I think it